What's crackalacking? It's your boy, Bro Schmo, just in case you did not know. So, we're back again for another mock draft team specific. Today, we're doing the Kansas City Chiefs, and we're going to go ahead and take a gander at the roster. We're going to see what where they may or may not address, and we're going to do a mock draft for them, see what their potential possibilities are. But go ahead, become a bro and subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. It helps out the channel a ton. And go ahead, share the video if you like as well. And uh, just heads up, Thursday, we're doing a watch along for the NFL Mock Draft. There's a lot of channels you can go out there and watch, but I suggest mine just because I'm, I'm a cool dude. A little arrogant though, but... Uh, yeah, I'll be doing that. So it'll be here on YouTube. Also, we're going to continue to have these team specific mock drafts until we get to everybody. I might redo a few. Um, but I don't know yet. <laughs> it really depends on my schedule is this week. Uh, I will have, I should have out a prospects who I think will go, will get overdrafted in the draft. So be sure to check that out. We will have another mock draft right before the draft. It's that way, you know, it's, uh, at least I'll have a majority of the rumors all put together where I can maybe, maybe, potentially, perhaps, make some educated decisions on that. So let's go ahead. Let's dive in. Of course, we start with what this roster looks like. And uh, honestly, it's, it's very good on offense. Uh, you really can't dial it up much better than this. I I like I like the roster. We could receiver. They're pretty fine. If even if we do want to address it, it wouldn't be till late. I know it's a. I mean, the rich can become richer, and we can go wide receiver early, but we don't have to. Uh, on the offensive line, maybe the interior here, because right now Andrew Wiley is the starter. So I I, I wouldn't mind upgrading there, and then. LDT, he hasn't been all that in a bag of chips. He's pretty average. So I won't mind I won't mind at least trying to upgrade from average. I mean Mike Remmers, he can play guard too, but I won't mind bringing another body in there. So and you might say running it back, but dude, Darwin Thompson, they also they brought in DeAndre Washington. They don't have to address running back. They really don't have to. So let's go ahead. Let's take a gander at the defense because this is where I kind of want to focus the draft at. Get in better in the trenches, and I do want to. I do want to get maybe another corner in here. They lost. They kind of lost their slot, but I mean it was kind of weird how they how they deployed their slot because he had Matthew, uh play a lot in the slot. As well, after they had Kendall Fuller initially, they moved him back to play deep because he was getting pretty torched in the slot. So, ah, we could address the slot receiver. I mean, I kind of like what they have. Or say receiver corner. I like kind of what they have at corner. I, I'm a big fan of Fenton. Uh, I, I, I'm not. A, we could, they could always upgrade from Breland. He's okay. But I don't think it's exceptionally dire. But if we could get one of the top corners, that's not a bad option. Uh, maybe a, definitely a linebacker. I, I know some of y'all like Hitchens. Some of y'all like Wilson. I don't think neither, neither of them are in particularly that good. They're average, if not below average, at best. Uh, so I think that could use an upgrade. Maybe gra grabbing another pass rusher. I know they got Okafor. They got Speaks. But... I wouldn't mind bringing in another guy. Uh, the defensive interior definitely no, not not bad. I wouldn't mind to see. I wouldn't mind seeing Kalen Saunders actually like progress this year because I really liked him last year as a zero tech. So uh, maybe not. I'm gonna kind of just go where the value is with defense. So we're going to kind of go with the flow there. We're not going to force nothing if we don't have to. We're just going to go with value. I mean, this is already it's a championship caliber offense that just needs a defense that's good enough. So let's go ahead. Let's just hit the dang thing. Hit start draft, and we're going in. Going in. I'm going in. 
This is gonna be interesting. Christian Folden. Oh my. Why are you so underrated, Christian Folden? First and foremost, he's the pick. But let's look at what else is there. Why is he so underrated? That's ridiculous. We could grab another safety, honestly, if they do want to play Honey Badger in the slot a little bit more. Why is Christian Folden so underrated? All right, take a look at the interior. Uh, I'm very okay skipping that. I'm very okay with just moving along here. Yeah, it's Christian Folden. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Dude, why is he so disvalued in this draft? Dude, some team's going to get a steal. In this case, it's the Chiefs. All right, so there's actually some quality quality corners still left on the board. Dantzler, all, but we don't really need to go there. We could grab... Ooh. I love me some Weaver. Y'all know that already. But no lie, this is probably Jordan Elliott. I have a first-round grade on him. I have a first-round grade on Weaver as well, but... I mean, uh, un until they actually re-sign Chris Jones long-term... Not bad having a potential backup plan. If anything, Elliot and Jones on the interior are nuts. Willie Gay, though, hold up. Because there, there are some linebackers here we could look at, too. Ah, I said I'm going to go with the value. Got Jordan Elliott higher. Probably actually my highest rated prospect left on the board right now. Yeah. Hey, Moody, why are you still here? Oh, of course, you're still here. I mean, that'd be a solid pickup, too. But we're going to go Elliot. I, to uh, I said I wanted to really address the defense, so we're going to do that. I love those first two picks. Those are amazing. All right. So, this is interesting. Bradley and A wouldn't, wouldn't be bad. And Daryl Taylor won't be bad either. Take a look at interior. When's the next pick? 138. Kind of fine with waiting. I'm kind of fine just getting the leftovers on the interior. Even take a look at who's left on tackles. See if any of them could play either or. Uh, Zach Moss actually. Ooh, whew, that would be solid. Uh, wow, they took my boy ADG right ahead of us, too. Not bad. We could be looking at Davion Taylor as well. Uh, ugh. Bradley and A. I think that's it. That's the pick. Uh, take a look. Uh, uh. you know Stone's interesting, too? Geno Stone's around in round two. I'm, I'm jumping on that. So, yeah, dude. Our picks are bangers right now. All right. Trump Skipson's still around. That would have been interesting. I think Stone is gone. Yes, he is. Uh, That's all right, though. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Calm down. Oh, Davion T literally r snagged right in front of us again. I really, really do need to address stupid linebacker. I mean, there's some solid guys later in the draft, so I, I'm not too bent out of shape about it. Uh, Actually, I am a little bent out of shape about it. It's all right, though. It's all right. It's all right. Calm down. Take a look at this interior. Maybe Calvin Throckmorton. Michael Owen, who hold the freaking phone. Keep him in mind, yes. I think we're going away new, man. I'm very high on Michael Owen. Alright, so... Linebacker. We should really definitely look at linebacker with this pick. Kaliki Hunts is probably going to be playing linebacker, but he's a project at this point. 
Cameron Brown, will you really be here, Cameron Brown? Like, in all honest, like, in all seriousness, will you be here? I mean, I got a fourth round grade on you, so it's just around, it's just around down, so. I like Cameron Brown, man. He's got a lot of good traits. If anything, if anything, we got a home and missile there. The dude can tackle. The dude's very athletic. He just needs to refine a little bit better as a blitzer and in coverage. But that's why you drafting these guys late. I think that was actually our last pick too. Which, hey, man, I addressed the defense mightily, and that's what I wanted to do. Actually, I addressed everything I really wanted to. Uh, some might be bent out of shape with the running back. They won. They, they literally won the Super Bowl with Damian Williams. They don't need to upgrade a running back. They're fine. They have Darwin Thompson. They have, uh, what is it, DeAndre Washington. They're fine. Christian Fulton, banger pick. Immediate starter there. Jordan Elliott immediate, could be an immediate starter as well. Uh, Bradley Anaye, he could be in the rotation there at edge. Michael Awenu, honestly, he could compete for a starting job. Cameron Brown, we got our linebacker a little later than I probably wanted to, but it is what it is, and it's okay. But that's it for the video. Go ahead, do the YouTube thing. It's always much appreciated, much obliged. I don't know why I was doing a little kung fu karate chop here. But as always, till next time, you be easy, my friends. Later. Later.